Hey everybody, Syntax77 back with you, and today I'm going to show you how to make a simple, inexpensive, and custom pot cozy for your ultralight backpacking pot, or even maybe not an ultralight one. Primarily for backpacking and camping pots, although I suppose you can make yourself a nice beer cozy out of this for the hunting cabin as well. Now, in a previous video, I showed you how I made a cooking pot out of a coffee can. So I won't get too deep into that on this video here. You can watch that separately. But I did get some feedback, and one in particular was a comment from Buckeye Hiker on YouTube. It said, have a cozy video yet? I've played around with some, but can't quite get one as functional looking as yours. Well, your wish is my command. I will show you now, and everybody else out there watching, how I made this. Very simple. You'll need minimal tools, marker, some scissors, and not even gonna need a ruler. Living on the edge here. And most importantly, we're going to need something called Reflectix. As you can see, it comes in a big old roll like this. Let's get it in frame here. You can pick this up at the hardware store, possibly at a smaller local store, definitely at one of the big box stores like Home Depot or Lowe's. It's again called Reflectix, spelled like this. And just walk in, you can ask somebody, hey, show me where the Reflectix is, or just go over to the insulation aisle. It's gonna be with your other house wraps and insulation most likely. You're gonna pick up a roll of this for about 15 bucks. And for small projects like I'm about to show you, pretty much going to be a lifetime supply of that stuff. Now, before you leave that store and that aisle, make sure to pick up a roll of this. Trust me, it's gonna be right nearby it's made by the same people and this is some aluminum tape that you're going to use to seal everything up all your edges and make your stuff nice and neat and basically what this stuff is its intended purpose is for insulating stuff like say a water heater or crawl space whatever it's pretty much if you can see that there some bubble wrap sandwiched in between some reflective plasticky kind of material and that is gonna make for a pretty lightweight and very heat insulating material. All right, let's get down to it. Materials back on the table. Got our cooking vessel of choice. In my case, it's a coffee pot. In your case, it could be a soup can or a titanium pot that you bought, whatever. And let's measure out our custom roll. Get that on the table there. Take our pot down flush at the bottom and just roll it up. That's why we don't need a ruler. Alternate view there, you can see what we're doing here. We're just coming around until we meet back up. And if you're gonna err on the side of either undershooting or overshooting, make it a little smaller than you need because that'll allow you to, uh, you'll just put tape over that and fill that gap. Here's where your marker comes into play. Take that and just mark the edge there. Also important, of course, we're gonna mark how tall we want this to be. now. Preferably, we don't want it all the way to the top of the can. We want to leave a little bit of a lip there in case you're drinking out of this cooking vessel. You just want enough that it's going to hold most of the heat in and protect your hand, but I like to leave a little lip. I'll probably bring mine right to around here. That'll give me a little extra space for drinking. Just using another piece to work this out. I told you I wasn't going to use a roller. Now we're just going to cut it. I think you could probably have guessed that. Okay, nice strip there. Now we just gotta somehow turn it into this, right? No problem. First off, we wanna seal these edges, and you see I've done that on here. So it's all nice and exposed right now. We're gonna seal that up. Just gonna take my tape, and this is actually thicker than needed, so I'm gonna cut it down a bit, just to reduce materials. Move that out a bit, cut it in half, maybe two thirds, and I can use this other strip later. And we'll just put it on there, and then Fold it over, and we'll have that nice and sealed up. We only need to do that on the top edge. We'll just peel that paper backing off of this metallic tape, being careful not to let it stick to itself because it is super sticky, and that would be a problem. Smooth that out. Fold it over. We got our top edge now. And 
Well, let's complete the circle, roll it around the can. Now, like I said, you can have a little bit of a gap there if you want, if you want to leave some so that you can actually get this thing in and out of here without it being too snug. So I'm just gonna hold it right about there and put a strip of tape on that. You can use a little bit of that leftover that we trimmed down a second ago. Leave a little bit hanging over the top there. We'll fold that over in a second. And now we'll slip the can back out. And I just want to fold that over. That's it. You can put another tape on the inside there. It's really up to you. I found it's not the end of the world. If it's not on there. There we go. Now, we got a tube here. Bottom's open. Top is all sealed. Get yourself another piece of Reflectix. Put your can on there. We're gonna trace the diameter of this. Okay. Cut it out. Air on the side of a little smaller because we're gonna have to fit it in there. Circle. Get your can back out. Put it bottom side up. Take this with the rough side up. Slide it over there. We'll use this as a base to get everything nice and tight. Take your circle, put it on there. Don't push too far, but get it flush. There we go, nice and flush. And now, we're simply gonna take a strip of tape, put it around the edge here, two separate strips. And put that as evenly as possible around there. Careful to keep that flush. It's not the end of the world if you're not perfect, but ideally it'll be, you know, in somewhat good shape. And now we need another piece. Overlapping the other side. Now you've got this big old piece of tape sticking up there. Good luck just mushing that down. So what we're gonna do is take our scissors and cut a bunch of notches every, I don't know, a couple inches or so, like so. Go all the way around. There we go. Now one more final check to make sure this is flush and at the right level by sliding up and down on your can. It's still inside there. And we'll just start folding these guys down. See what I'm doing there? I'm just folding them down, keeping the can in there to maintain pressure and shape. And work our way around in the big old circle. Final piece. One more push to get it really nice and sealed. Pull it out, and that's it. I found that this will keep the water inside here. If you bring it to a boil and then pop it in right into your cozy, it'll keep that water in there hot for quite some time, even without a lid, which I'll get into in a second. But speaking of popping it into the cozy, you don't want to burn your hands off when you take it off of the stove and get it into here, right? That would hurt. Simple solution is this little thumb grabber here. And all there really is to this is take a scrap piece about this long, maybe even a little longer, and you just fold one end over about so far and then tape it. And what you end up is this. Thumbs protected here. This you just bend over and you can grab it. Now you can put a little little finger holder on each side if you're not that worried about weight. Um, you can modify it a little bit. But for the most part, you'd want the thumb front side to be covered because steam's gonna be coming off of that. So that'll protect your thumb from the steam. This will pr protect your finger from the contact in the back. You're gonna take it right off the stove. It's only gonna be a second. Slide it down into your pot cover. Then you'll throw your lid on and I found that you can go That'll stay hot for like an hour, hour and a half. It'll still be pretty hot coming off a boil sit sitting in there. Room temperature was around 70 degrees when I did that test and it was boiling. Put it in here, it was still around 150 degrees after like an hour and a half. So that's pretty good results. Now if it's colder out or you want more time staying hot than that, then you can just make a lid to go over top. I actually don't have one, but 
when the winter comes, I'll make a lid for this. And all you would do for that is pretty simple. You're just gonna take it and do the same exact thing, only don't use your can to measure the size of your strip. You're gonna leave it in your Reflectix pot cozy and wrap it in that. That will give you the extra circumference you need to make a small, basically it's gonna be identical to this, only about this tall, it would overlap over this whole thing and then you've got the whole thing covered in coziness. But for me, in the less cold months, this is just fine right here. You can make even smaller ones as I have. This is like a 14 ounce soup can and that is my coffee pot right there. So there you have it, custom pot cozy, minimal weight, minimal cost, definitely minimal time. We did that in a matter of minutes. Hope you get something out of that. Make your own custom gear, keep those hands protected and your food hot. Until next time, I'm Syntax77 and have fun out there.